Hi, Mama Ellie. So this is Ellie and her two boys. So they will be three weeks old tomorrow and their oh. eyes are open. They have attitude and get ready to start potty training them. Um, this guy, Emmett, is over seven pounds. So he's still waiting for his muscles to mature so he can walk without being a, on back shaky legs. So it's kind of normal. We've had some big guys in the past and they're, they're like that. Now he's smaller. George is smaller. He's like five pounds. So he's up and going and he's got some attitude. Huh, George? Yeah. Huh, George? But they're both doing great. Mom's great. She's healed up wonderfully. <laughs> So I'm waiting for him to start getting playful. I always think, oh, he should be doing this and that. But then I remember they're only three weeks old. So they're they're huge for their size. Uh, Emmett's our biggest puppy yet at 7.4 pounds uh, at three weeks old. So we've had some other bigger ones. And uh, he might take the cake. He might be our biggest puppy produced. Um, Ellie is our a good sized mom. She is 131 pounds. Um, the last purse, the repo vet that weighed her obviously was wrong. They said she was 108, but she had just been to the vet to get her staples out and get a clean bill of health, and she's at 131 pounds. Uh, their dad is 179 pounds. So they normally produce big puppies anyway. But I think Emmett will be our biggest puppy ever. Um, another week or two, he should be up and moving around better. Um, give his muscles some time to develop. Uh, every time we've had big, chunky puppies, they take a little bit longer to be um, stable on their feet. So he's no different. <laughs> they do try to play. Emmett's um, the big guy and George is the, the five-pounder. And she, um, I notice uh, she'll feed him and then kind of lay over here. I think she's trying to start to wean him. Um, she still lets them eat whenever they want, but they do have teeth now, so I will start introducing food to them. And we will get a potty area going soon for them also, so they can start going in wood shavings. So that's what we do. We um, get them going in wood shavings, and then the new owners just kind of uh, take up just show them wood shavings when they go home and they're really a lot easier to uh, potty train I mean we have kept some too so we know that this indeed does work so Emmett can get up and move around when he's hungry <laughs> he hit seven pounds for nothing so if any of you guys out there have had puppies at over seven pounds at three weeks old you got to comment and let me know I'm curious we've never had one this big at this early stage now you see uh, little George is a busybody, huh, George? Hi, huh, George. He's so sweet. He's such a sassy guy, though, aren't you? Yes, you're very sassy. Emmett is vocal, too, when he feels like it. He will get... See, he wants to play with his brother. You're a little... Yes, you're going to go play with your brother. You're going to go play with your brother, huh, handsome? <laughs> so he does bark and stuff, too. But George is more vocal. They do find each other. <laughs> there he goes. He's up and moving. Go Emmett. <laughs> and that's just, uh, you know, all that weight on those little legs. That's what's doing it. I mean, he's a heifer. And mommy keeps a close eye on them. She's a fantastic mother. Oh, see, he got up, went over here to go potty. So we're going to start. Uh, and you can see how much he pees. He's peeing a lot. Look, she said, oh, no, he's pissing again. <laughs> so, uh, and then he's walking back to his mummy. So we will start potty training this week for these guys. And we just do the, we'll do the wood shavings over here a little bit. Um just so it's not too far and as they get older the wood shavings will go way to the back of their their uh whelping box but right now um these guys are realizing they don't want to sleep with a pee so they're getting it huh georgie 
So see, he's got to go get something to eat again. So she's getting better about coming downstairs and being with us more. She realizes it's time to wean them. Um, I don't know how much this guy's going to weigh being on uh, mush because he's already a tank. But she just loves them. She's a good mummy. So that's the update for George and Emmett. Doing good. Almost three weeks old. Mommy's doing great. Um, she's been back to the vets, so staples are out. She's come, I mean, she was a little bit in the beginning was, was rough, but she's definitely back to her old self, eating great, accepting water now, <laughs> but, uh, we do what we, we need to do to get them through it. So, uh, these little buggers will be eating food and starting potty training. It'll be an upcoming busy week for these little scoots. Hi, buddy. Hi, Abigail. Mm, cold outside there, guys. Pass is breathing out. Oh, are you gonna be sassy, girl? Are you gonna be a sassy girl, Abigail? I know it's freezing. I told you that. Nothing going on in the neighborhood. Nope. How pretty girl. So Ebby's kind of a lean cuisine, so she likes to wear a sweater. We keep sweater on her. Sometimes she takes it off, but she gets cold. Right now she is trying to get herself some ice. <laughs> Easy silly, Abigail. Do you hear the birds far? Hmm. Checking the neighborhood out. Maggie, what are you doing? Hi, girl. Whoop. One down. Hi, Nolly. Two. Hi, girl. And the Hollywood Hound. Here it comes. Diesel. Hi, puppy. Come on. I can't go down. Wait for my dad. There's Grandma Fiona, and they're gonna bother her because she can't stand them. Hi, you're not gonna bark at them today? They're expecting that. Oh, look who decided to join us. It's Diesel. Hi, Dees. You guys ready to go potty? Go out and play? Yeah, come on, let's go play. Hey, you little turkey. Hey, little man. Diesel. So these are the three youngsters of the house. We're waiting for Magnolia still to come in heat. Taking our time. This is what they love to do. Horse around. Diesel's always worried about what his mom is doing. Give me smooch. Mwah, good boy. Yep, he's my right hand man. Call him the Hollywood Hound because he's quite the little howler when he wants to be. He's got, he's got personality. You're not going to horse around with the girls? No? So if it's nice out, we let them, you know, come out at their moderation. They'll come back in and uh, go to the door when they want to. This is kind of a hard time of year to, you know, they like being outside, but it gets too cold. But they still have plenty of space out here. We were outside yesterday cleaning up the yard. It's our second job almost. <laughs> but they love being out. They go out in the, they go down where it's sunny and they have a good spot. This summer we're working on expanding everything for these little cahoots and our birds. Um, we have the property, we have the space, so we just have to uh, get it done. But they love coming out here, and you can see they can see their birds, so they'll be watching their birds. Ha, huh, you gooba girl. Yes, I love you too, Nolly. <laughs> Oops. Taking the camera out. Taking out the camera. She's a jumper. Oh, comes her rival. These two grew up together. Uh, actually, all three of them did, but these two are 
Um, these two are a little older. Hi, Diesel. Diesel's a youngster. Stop, that hurt. She little goof. She little goof troop. So I'll let them stay out and play as long as they want. And then they come back and they let me know when they want to come in. They'll come in, hang out with us, and uh, tear apart the living room. And Diesel is famous for trying to get his leg wrapped around you or if he thinks you're taking off without him he likes to grab a hold of my um this is horsing around this is what they do never gets uh violent that's just them playing but these guys all play together because they're the same age group if you've noticed most of them go out in their own age group tell them nala you're the oldest so they have this room to come into. So, you know, if they want to play, they're still kind of outside. It's not heated. This is actually a sun that came to the house. And um, so they play in here too. They run, they run outside. So there they go. This is what they'll do. They'll go back and forth, back and forth. But they're having a good time. So that was a little update on the mom and her two pups. We are still waiting for some girls to come into heat and we will be... Uh, breeding more than one uh, Once we have a confirmed breeding we'll probably post more about it, but we're kind of waiting to see what happens right now, but um, so our puppies upstairs are Three weeks old tomorrow Callie's puppies are Three weeks on Wednesday. I have been over to see her puppies. They're doing awesome. They look really really look great um, growing nice and plump mom's content with them so all is well there next year we're hoping to take on a new puppy too either from our own line or an outside line but i'm pretty sure it's from my own um i just feel more confident having my own um i do if i do get a puppy from somebody else i do a lot of research and stuff and and follow them for a while before i decide you know oh yeah they're they're a breeder of the same standards that I would have um, and I would like one of theirs we've been pretty lucky with most of the breeders that we've taken on puppies with I don't have any complaints about mine um, which is good uh, but I honestly feel like I already know what litters I'm going to be taking a pup from and I think it's gonna be you know an upcoming litter I'm going to um, keep one. I really uh, love Eva, Eva's line, honestly. With Eva and uh, Hurley, I've, they're both super great, well-rounded, happiest puppies. You know, they produce some good-sized puppies. They produce some really unique colors. Anybody that has their puppies know, knows exactly what I'm talking about. So, um... I do have Magnolia already from from them and I think before I retire Miss Eva I am going to be keeping another one of her puppies and I already know what color I, I'm going to be taking but I'm pretty sure we're going to be keeping a puppy from Magnolia too. Um, not 100% sure but um, I know we're going to be um, picking one from our line, one or two girls from our own line. We're retiring out, so, um, you know, we're going to add to our pack, and, uh, that's exciting. It's, well, we had Diesel, so it's been a little bit since we had a little puppy, but, uh, we always have puppies, so it's not a problem, um, and once they get in, and, you know, they're with their pack, they're with their age, I normally will do two puppies or at least closer in age so they can kind of grow up together. I've always done that. I've had Frank and Fiona, Farley and Abby. Um, and then uh, when I got Ellie, she kind of was, uh, uh, you know, the third wheel. So I did notice a difference, you know. Um, I always think it's, it's good to have uh, two close in age like we have... Uh, the three that are close in age and they play great together diesel can go out with the older girls and he realizes when he's with the older girls he can't horse around like that because they'll put him in his place but quick um and same with the other girls so i don't i don't try to add stress to myself by throwing them all out together i put them in age groups where they're used to each other and you know they they act accordingly to who they're with so that always is a benefit for us. 
and we will probably continue to do that too 